What is going on guys? I am Lazyboard and welcome to another Call of Duty Warzone slash DMZ video. Today guys, every single year I decide, you know, I say to myself, I'm not going to make this video because everybody should already know what graphic settings to use. And it seems like every year there is stuttering, there is lagging when it comes to the game. And the game actually needs to be optimized with the right settings for your PCs. Today I'm going to show you guys the settings you're going to need to change in order to make your PC performance work exceptionally well and avoid stuttering and avoid lagging. So if this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated. And let's dive in and take a look at the settings you need to change and why. All right, so quick off the bat, just to let you guys know, I am running on a very powerful PC, but the settings I'm gonna mention here are gonna work for anybody, whether you have a really powerful PC, really good graphic card, or a really high-end uh, you know, PC in general, this is gonna work for everybody. So for display mode, I'm going to recommend this. If you are lagging a lot and your display mode is not full screen, change it to full screen because this is going to avoid you from lagging. I run full screen borderless because I have a really high end PC. My monitor has a really high refresh rate, but this is the number one component that a lot of people change that affects the way this, you know, your game plays and performs. So if you're having issues, just switch it to full screen. I'm going to tell you guys, it's going to fix a majority of your issues. If you did change this and this did help you, make sure you come back and let me know in the video. Next up, guys, we're going to be talking a little about the refresh rate. So re my refresh rate here, we have it set to auto. Now, the thing with the refresh rate, you're going to definitely want to make sure you keep it at a very good refresh rate and don't get the default settings that the actual, you know, system that the, you know, the actual system comes with. So for X space ratio, guys, we have it set to auto. The VSync and gameplay, we have that off. VSync menus, we also have that off as well. And then the frame rate, which is right here, you're going to want to set this to custom. Now, it's extremely important that you pay attention to this because this right here is going to be what's going to be your lifesaver. Okay, some of you guys are running way too high and some of you guys are running way too low. So for the game custom frame rate, I have mine set to capped at 120. I could theoretically move this to 240. But I feel like going 240 will not change so much the dynamics of Warzone due to the fact that Warzone, it's very dependent on uh, internet connection. So your refresh rate could help you and benefit a little bit. But I think going over 120 is just not going to help at, at all in the sense of not so much about fidelity and the way your game looks, but in general of the way context of the whole game. So if you guys have a really high refresh rate for your monitor, Put it at 120. If you have anything that's lower, if you only have a 60, cap it at 60. So you want to cap it at whatever your monitor or your TV is capped at. Now, if your monitor or TV goes higher than 120 and it goes all the way to 240, I would still suggest to keep it at 120. I mean, it's going to be up to you. I'm just trying to, trying to help you guys not lag or not stutter. Now, for the menu custom frame rate, I have this capped at 60. The game, I think, defaults it to 100, to 120. I forgot what it defaults it to. But you want to bring this down to 60. You, there's no reason you need to have 120 frame rates per second on your menu. And then for the autofocus custom frame rate. So this right here, guys, is going to be anything else that you're not doing that has nothing to do with the menu or nothing to do with the gameplay itself. You're going to want to make sure you uh, cap that at 30. You don't need to get any higher than that. And make sure you do this, okay, because it's going to be really important. That's going to save you guys a ton of things. Next up, guys, we have the following for the display gamma that's on default. So right here we have constraint mouse to game window. We have that off, so that means your mouse is going to stay there and put. Focus mode, we have that off as well. And high dynamic range, we have this to automatic. Now this one in particular, some people tell you to turn it off. Some people tell you to turn it on. Leave it automatic because that way, you know, your PC will know exactly if it should be on or not. All right, so moving on that, guys, we're going to go to quality. So this is going to be very important that you pay close attention to because some of you guys right here might have this ultra balanced basic minimal. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you set this to custom. And what that's going to do, guys, it's going to go ahead and cap all of this, okay? Now, I know there are a lot of people telling you guys that you should theoretically go with Fidelity FX Cast. Now, this is going to enhance the sharpness of your image. Yes, that's 100% correct. But this is also going to make you lag as well. If your monitor and your PC cannot handle the sharpness and the contrast enhancement, it's going to make your PC laggy. I would suggest if you have an NVIDIA, uh, you know, a graphics card, just go with the DLSS. 
I, I know some people will tell you not to do this, but trust me when I tell you guys, if you have an NVIDIA graphic card that is 30 and higher, so that means 3080, 3070, 4080, 4090, I would highly recommend you go with the DLS. If your PC is strong enough, then you're going to want to make sure you have a fidelity cast. Now, if you notice right here, once we deal with the fidelity cast here, all of this is going to open up. So we go here. It's going to close these right here, which is the anti aliasing and the uh, and the uh, quality. If we go here, it's going to change these real quick. All right. So it's going to open them up. So for this one, guys, you want to leave it in Filmex Matte. And for this one, guys, you want to go ahead and leave it normal. But I still would recommend and advise that you do the DLS if you have an NVIDIA graphic card. It's gonna you're gonna you're gonna notice a difference, okay? It does help game wise, but it doesn't help computer wise. Now, in addition to that, we're gonna go here and go to the texture resolution. We're gonna set those to normal. You don't need to have this any higher. You're not even gonna notice it. Texture filter, uh, uh, texture filter. We're gonna leave that high. Nearby level of detail. We're gonna leave those on high. Uh, distance level detail. You're gonna leave those on high. And uh, clutter draw distance, we're going to leave those on short because you definitely want to make sure you are only capturing the, the things that are close to you. Particle quality. Now, this one, I personally like it high, but you can bring it down to low if you want to. I, I do like to see the, uh, you know, the particle quality when I play. Uh, the level, I have that set to high as well. You could theoretically put this to normal, and that should help your PC if you're struggling. The best way to understand this, guys, is you constantly want to be paying close attention to this right here and how much VRAM usage is being taken for Modern Warfare. So you want to avoid going too high. Mine's is at 3,000, but you guys could you know, kind of manage and see on, on the ones you want to turn off that I want to suggest you either leave them high or normal. Then we have shader quality. I leave that on low. I think it defaults uh, for this one. It defaults to higher medium. So you want to do that. Um, then we have uh, telestation right here. We have that completely set to off. And where we are, we have uh, terrain memory. We have that set to max because this is going to affect whenever you enter a different area within the map that you haven't visit. This is going to start splattering. So you want to make sure you keep that on, on, on max. On demand texturing, guys. We have that off. Stream quality. Make sure you set this to normal. Because I think it comes out in high. Um, we have a volumetric quality. We have that set to low. Uh, the deferred physical quality. We have that to off. And then we have water. Uh, the water. So this is going to be really important. So you're going to notice that when you're playing the game, the water looks very beautiful, right? You're going to want to make sure you turn this off, especially for Warzone. There is a lot of water in the game itself. And even though the water might look beautiful for you guys, this is going to affect the quality when you're playing around for, uh, I was about to say for dance, but when you're playing around the new map, you're going to want to make sure that even you're going to sacrifice the quality of the water just to have better performance. So I would definitely turn that off. If you don't really care, leave it on. All right. So next up, guys, we have shadowing and lighting. We have that normal. We have screen space shadow set to off, spot shadow quality set to high, spot catch to low, particle light to normal, and then ambulant occlusion. We have this set to off. And we also have uh, screen space reflection off, static reflection quality high, weather grid volume. We have that set to off. And these right here, I think they all default to off uh, off right here. But we're going to have this one, the low latency, we're going to set to off. I mean, to on, I'm sorry. Uh, depth of field, we're going to leave those off. World motion blur off as well. I mean, I think it defaults on, so you're going to want to turn those off. Motion uh, blur, we're going to have set this to off as well. And film grain. We're going to bring it down all the way to the bottom. I think it's defaulted to 15. You want to make sure you set this all the way to zero. This is going to be very important. Then, guys, for the view. Now, this is going to be personal preference. I like running in 120 because I want to see the entire map when I'm playing. It's very helpful. Plus, I like to simulate that I'm running really fast even though I'm not. 120 is what I choose, and my PC can handle it. If your PC or, you know, TV or monitor is not able to handle a very high frame rate, you're going to want to reduce this and not go all the way down, but you want to keep it between 110 and 105. I personally run mines at 120, but it's all going to be based depending on if your monitor and your PC can handle it. If it can't handle 120, keep it at 105 or 110. That is what I would expect. ADS field of view, we have this affected. We have a win uh, window field of view. We have this set to wide. Third person, we have it maxed out. Vehicle field of view, we have set this to wide because when we're driving and moving our vehicle, we want to make sure we see everything around us and we look a little bit further. Uh, first person camera movement, we have least to 50. Third person camera moving, less to 50. Third person ADS transitioning. Uh, third person ADS and default spectrum camera. So that's what we have for this play. But I'm going to give you guys another really helpful tip. 
that's going to make your gameplay look a lot better and allow you to see enemies even better. All right, and that setting's going to be under interface, guys. And if you guys recall in Warzone, in the previous one, we had an option to change the colorblind settings to make the game look better. This is going to be very similar, but it's going to be find, found in a little bit different. We're going to go where it says color customization. We're going to click on that. And you want to set this to filter too. So let me show you guys exactly the way it comes default. You're going to notice right here, guys, just pay close attention to here. You're going to notice that these right here, the yellow, the blue, right? When we change this to filter one, those are going to change and become more pastel. But if we go to filter two, you're going to notice that your reds get a little bit brighter, your blues get a little bit brighter, your greens get a little bit brighter, as opposed to any of the other ones. And that's going to be really important because what that's going to do, it's going to enhance the color of the actual game itself, allowing you that when you look at that mini map, you're going to be able to see the red dots really bright. You're going to be able to see the stuff that you really want to see at a bright, nice color. And this is going to help your gameplay overall in general. And plus, it's going to make your game look better. Now, if you guys did apply these settings, I need you to guys come back. Let me know in the comment section down below if this helped you guys get rid of the stutter, get hit of the lag. Feedback is extremely important when i make these type of videos so make sure you guys come back we're gonna have a separate guide going over the controller settings especially if you own custom controllers what you should pick what you should run so make sure you guys keep it locked here on the channel thank you guys for watching i hope you guys are enjoying our coverage of modern warfare 2 warzone slash dmz if you are doing the huge favor guys drop a comment drop a like most importantly subscribe turn on all your notifications and if you want to show more love consider becoming part of the bold nation by clicking the join button down below or pinned in the pinned comment thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys on the next video.